I really appreciate it. Folks, Wayne Taylor, Honest Home Finder. Out there taking some lovely videos of some lovely inventory homes and the model at Britannia. A little bit embarrassed, I gotta admit. I, uh, I thought when MI Homes finished up, that this neighborhood was done. And of course, wrong, wrong, wrong. So I'm gonna make up for lost time and uh, this might be a little fast because I'm running out of daylight. Shame on you, daylight savings time. This is gonna be a Wingate. Don't have my sheet in front of me right this second. I wanna say it's like 3,400 square feet, six bedrooms, just huge, just huge. Which I know uh, Pulte has a lot of different uh, series that they build. Quite frankly, even let's say bottom tier series, they're usually pretty big. We're gonna call this the guest suite downstairs. I'll tell you why in a minute. If you were thinking that this could be an office, I got a better spot for you. But this one's got the bathroom right next to it, even though it's shared. And it's got that type of closet. Dreaded double door closet. sure whether I love that or not. I do love the natural light though. The Wingate. All right. Stairs over on the side. I like that. I've been in some neighborhoods lately where the stairs are right up front. I know some people like that. It's not my favorite thing. If you've ever seen 10 of my videos and seen something like this, you know I love it. It's that I call it a breakfast room, we call it a sunroom. This just makes a house. At least gives a little more uniqueness than normal. Yeah. And it might be the, the darker wood, I, you know. I think it's a classic look, I love it. Yeah, you don't gonna buy the home with that on there. peek at the butler's pantry. See the See sister? I'm leaving you that room for the wine rack. The study area, work area. Right off the garage. This is the reason why I said don't think of that front room as any more than a bedroom. That's where uh, somebody might want to stay that doesn't like stairs because this has no real bedroom attached to it. I think I'd use this as an office first. It's got the closet, so it's technically a bedroom. Uh, two potential bedrooms downstairs. One of them probably going to be an office. Let's head up. All right, made it up, made it up. Top of my screen is your buyer's incentive. So look up for a second there. <laughs> and we got the upstairs. Nice big bedroom. 
pretty large walk-in closet. Loft, decent. I'm gonna give it a B. Okay, take a quick left here. This one wraps around a little bit. Shared bathroom. For those of you who have to see the bathroom, it looks like every other bathroom ever put in one of those places. Again, this one feels dark only because, you know, it's capped. Doesn't have a light fixture in it yet. That's going to be your job. Walk in closet upstairs. Time I see those pull down attic stairs nowadays, this time of the year, I can't get it out of my head. It's mom waiting for me to come by and get my ass up into the attic to get all the decorations down. I don't know where my sister was and all that. <clears throat> I don't even remember. If, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Sorry, 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 sorry. I am kind of beat. Spectacular. Look at that floor. Laundry room. And the primary. This is a nice big area. Again, I joke, but it's true. If you don't want somebody right next to you when you're getting ready in the morning, this is the type of dual vanity that you're looking for. Have two big ass mirrors. I like this layout. This will be the second walk-in closet that just goes all the way down. I like it. All right, Winget, I'm sure I've been in you before. I've probably taken a video, but it's been so long I don't remember. Thumbs up. Way to go, Pulte.